Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Green's theorem part 3. In part 1 video, we have verified Green's theorem over a line and a parabola x square equal to y. In the part 2 video, we have verified Green's theorem for a triangular region. In today's session, we are going to see a different problem. Before going into the problem, just recall Stokes theorem part 3. In first two problems on Stokes theorem, we verified over the cube and parallel pipe, but in the third problem, we did for a rectangular region. Yeah, this is the question. Given f vector x square minus y square i vector plus 2xy j vector. And we verified this for Stokes theorem and we found the answer is 2a b square. Now, we are going to take the same problem in the Green's theorem version. So, in terms of Green's theorem, they give like PDX plus QDY is going to be X square minus Y square DX plus 2XY DY. So, now we are going to solve the Green's theorem version of this problem number 3. Verify Green's theorem over the rectangular region. As usual, step 1, I am going to find my P and Q. Step 2, we have the regions. It is very clear that it is a rectangular region x equal to 0, y equal to 0, x equal to a and y equal to b. As I said in Green's theorem, it is very important. You have to imagine and you have to draw the figure. Then only you can able to find the limits. Now let us draw the diagram one by one. First x axis, then y axis. In the question, it is given as x equal to 0 to a, y equal to 0 to b. But they don't mention whether a is greater than b or b is greater than a for the rectangle. So I am just taking b is greater than a. And then I will draw the rectangle. Now, x axis we know y equal to 0. y axis x equal to 0. Any line parallel to y axis is x equal to a and a line parallel to x axis is y equal to b. Now, we have to mark the labels. Before that, let us mark the anti-clockwise directions. Now, we have to write the points. Let us take this as O, A, B, C. It is very easy students. Just see this point. Here, x equal to 0, y equal to 0. So, 0, 0. Here, x equal to A and y equal to 0, A, 0. For B, x equal to A, y equal to B, A, B. And finally, for C, x is 0, y is B. So, 0, B. We can easily mark the vertices. So, now the diagram is done. Let us go into step 3. Let us write the statement of Green's theorem where the LHS is the closed curve. As usual, we will do the RHS first, then we come back to LHS. Now, to evaluate RHS, I want to find dou Q by dou X minus dou P by dou Y and the limits over the region R. So, from step 1, we take PDX plus QDY, write P and Q. Now, according to Green's theorem, next we have to differentiate P partially with respect to Y and Q partially with respect to X. So, we get minus 2Y. Here we get 2Y. Next, we have to calculate dou Q by dou X minus dou P by dou Y. 2Y minus of minus 2Y. So, 2Y plus 2Y. It is going to be 4Y. So, my content is ready. Next, I want to find the limits. For the limits, we have to see the diagram. From the figure, it is very easy to see y is varying from 0 to b and x is varying from 0 to a. So, I can write the limits very easily. y equal to 0 to b, x equal to 0 to a. Done. Now, we have to calculate RHS. Just now, we found the value of this is going to be 4y. Substitute it. Now, we have to integrate this. Integral 0 to a. 4y integration with respect to y is 4y square by 2 limit 0 to b dx. Now, we will cancel this 4 and 2. Substituting the upper limit, we get b square. Lower limit is 0 dx. Now, we will take this constants 2b square outside. Integral 0 to a dx. Integrating this, we get 2b square x limit 0 to a. Substituting the upper and lower limit, we get 2a b square. Therefore, my RHS is equal to 2a b square. Now, we have to find the LHS. Next step 5, we have to calculate LHS. Before going to the LHS, let us have a look on the diagram. Now, for LHS, we have to evaluate the closed curve C. Now, we can see there are four lines are there along OA, AB, BC and CO. Now, we can see the 
directions. So now integral over C PDX QDY can be written as along OA plus AB plus BC plus CO PDX plus QDY. Now we have to evaluate this four line integrals one by one. For this very important you have to write the PDX plus QDY from step one. Now along OA. Along OA we can easily see the straight line is moving from O to A and the equation is Y equal to zero. Therefore, I can write dy equal to 0. And then limits. Since y is fixed, we have x limit. It is traveling from O to A. Therefore, my limits are x equal to 0 to x equal to A. Now, substitute this equation here. dy is 0, y is 0. We get pdx plus qdy is simply x square dx. So, along OA, pdx plus qdy is going to be integral 0 to A, x square dx. Integrating this, we get x cube by 3. Substituting the upper and lower limit, we get a cube by 3. Now, along OA is done. Next, we have to calculate for the line along AB. Now, as usual, we have to go for the figure. Along AB, the direction is from A to B. See the equation. The equation is x equal to A. So, dx equal to 0. Since here x is constant, my y is going to vary. My lower limit of y is 0. Upper limit of y is B because the line is from A to B. Therefore, my limits are y equal to 0 to y equal to B. Now, we have to substitute this equation x equal to A and dx equal to 0 in PDX plus QDY. When dx equal to 0, this term is 0. x equal to A will be getting 2AY dy. Now, integrating along the line AB, we get 2AY square by 2, the limit 0 to B. Here, 2 to get cancelled. When you substitute the upper limit, we get AB square. Lower limit is 0. Next, similarly, along the line BC. Along the line BC, we can see Y is constant. Therefore, Y equal to B, DY equal to 0. Since Y is constant, my X is going to vary. The direction is from B to C. So, my X limits are going to be X equal to A to X equal to 0. Now, substitute the equation Y equal to B dy equal to 0. This term gets 0 and we get pdx plus qdy is x square minus b square dx. Now we have to integrate along the line bc. When we integrate this we get x cube by 3 minus b square x limit a to 0. When I substitute my upper limit it is 0. When I substitute the lower limit we get a cube by 3 minus a b square. Now multiplying the minus inside, we get a b square minus a cube by 3. Done. Next finally we have along the line CO. Let us go into the figure. Along the line CO, the direction is from C to O. Here x equal to 0, dx equal to 0. Since x is constant, since x is constant, y is going to vary. The y limits are from y equal to b to y equal to 0. Now, when I substitute dx 0, this term is completely 0. When I put x equal to 0, this term is also 0. It is very good. My pdx plus qdy is going to be completely 0. I don't want to integrate it. So, the answer is 0. Now, we find the integrations over the four lines. OA, AB, BC and finally CO. Now, we have to add everything. A cube by 3 plus AB square plus AB square minus A cube by 3 plus 0. Now, this A cube by 3 and A cube by 3 will get cancelled. We have 2AB square. Therefore, my LHS and RHS are the same 2AB square. Hence, Green's theorem is verified for the given question. Hope you understand students. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.